recently, Bethesda Magazine announced the winners of their fifth annual Extraordinary Teens Awards. Twelve of the county's most outstanding students chosen from close to 100 nominees. The winners range from athletes to future scientists who are destined for success. In our FaceTime segment this time, we caught up with one of those teens whose life so far has been nothing short of a slam dunk. Kirby, we're walking into your gym at Bullis High School where you play high school basketball and you've been playing here for how many years? I came here sophomore year, so three years now. Three years now. And tell me a little bit about your career as a basketball player. When did you start? I started when I was two years old and we lived in Houston and my parents signed me up for a basketball camp at Rice University in Houston. And before we went to the camp, my mom goes, Kirby, today you are three years old. You know, when we got to the camp, that didn't go so well. You were three years old three when years you old. first started bouncing a basketball around. Did your parents see something in you that made them think that, wow, this girl's well, got potential? When I was first born, my uncle gave me a basketball for the baby shower gifts, so maybe that was it. Um, I don't know what it was, but it's something that I stuck with, so they made a good decision. So what is it about basketball that you love so much that's, that's made you continue all these years? Well, I think that everyone has a passion for, there's, everyone has one thing that they're very passionate about, and for me, that's basketball. I've met so many lifelong friends through basketball, so many connections, so many good memories. It's just something that I really want to keep around because I feel like whenever things are going wrong, I can go to basketball. Or whenever things aren't going my way, basketball is always there for me. So it's something that I've had a passion for, and it's just I've always want to get better. And how has it been at the Bullis School after transferring here? What kind of a change was that coming from Houston? So when I first moved here, I went to Bethesda, Bethesda Chevy Chase in Bethesda. I played there for my freshman year. It was a good experience, but I wanted some more competition and to play around with some really good players. So I came to Bullis, um, and that was the great best decision I'd made ever. Uh, when I came to Bullis, they took me right in. I started right away, and it was just great. I loved Coach Orr was the coach when I first came here. She was great. She brought me under her wing. She really guided me, and she helped me get to where I am now. And last year we actually won the ISL championship, so that was that was a great experience. So yeah. And it hasn't been easy all, along the way. You've had you've had some setbacks. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah. So sophomore year, March of my sophomore year, I tore my ACL. That was really hard for me at first. I was 14 at the time, so I was like, oh, it's all over. My basketball career is over. I was very young and naive. Um, but I really had to sit down, talk to my parents, collect my thoughts, and I realized, you know, this is a time for me to find my passion outside of sports, outside of basketball, because that was when I realized, you know, the ball isn't always going to bounce. The ball isn't going to stop bouncing one day. So that was a time where I really got to find myself and find what I was passionate for outside of basketball. So what was it that got you through that period when you were injured? Do you have anybody that was particularly inspirational to you that helped you get through that? I would say most definitely my parents were there for me through all of it. They really helped me find find my calling. So that was when my dad was like, you know, Kirby, take this time to find your passion outside of basketball. And that's when he decided, you know, you should sign up for some internships for some camps. So I signed up for an internship with the NFL Players Association. I did a Georgetown sports management program. And it was one of the best two experiences of my life. And I really thank my parents for that. And from what I understand, you were recruited by several schools mm -hmm. and you chose Harvard. What, what is it about the Ivy League that is so attractive? Uh, definitely the perfect balance between academics and athletics. So Harvard has been recruiting me for a long time and right away I knew this is a place for me. I absolutely love the coaches, I love the team, and I love the campus. And it's a perfect balance of academics and athletics for me and I just feel like I can succeed there. So you want to go into sports management? Yes, I want to major in economics next year. In so. economics, mm -hmm. okay, so economics major at Harvard and playing basketball. Yes. Have you thought about how that balance is going to go? Yeah, uh, I know it's going to be a challenge, but but it's definitely going to be something that I'm going to be able to manage, so I'm looking forward to it. How many hours a week would you say you spend working out? So up until the end of this past basketball season, it was really all around the clock, 24-7. You know, once you're finished with high school season, you go straight to AAU. Once you're done with AAU, you have about two weeks, then high school workouts pick up. And it's really a lot of hard work and dedication that I put into the sport, and you know, it's definitely paid off. Um, so right now, since basketball season is over and I don't have have AAU. I have training two times a week and I'm doing workouts on my own every single day. So you have basketball, you put a lot of hours into basketball, you obviously take a lot of hard classes, you're going to Harvard. Do you have time to be a regular teenager and what is your favorite activity if you do? 
Yes, I definitely have time to be a regular teenager. My friends are great, they're great support, and they're so understanding of my different schedule that I have than them. Uh, in my free time, I'm, I'm involved in a lot of extracurricular activities at Bullis, so I just make sure that I give back through community service. Throughout the Bullis community, I'm involved in many clubs, but outside of Bullis, I, I love to volunteer, and I love just catching up on current events, just through reading the newspaper and everything. So what life lesson would you say you're taking away from the sport? I would say, a life lesson that I learn is to work in silence and let your success talk for you. So I think that's definitely one of the things that has helped me to remain humble throughout this whole situation and also that hard work pays off, one of the basic sayings, but I, I'm a firm believer in that.